Hi, I'm Andre, and it's time for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles DVD Ray Blu ray unboxing <laughs> Turtle Power. This week, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows has come out on DVD and Blu ray. This was the sequel to the 2014 Ninja Turtles movie that was produced by Michael Bay. This was the one that had Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang, all the stuff that the Turtle fanboys asked for and then made less money than the first one that everyone complained was nothing like what they remembered. Success. There's like 50 versions of this thing. There's like a DVD Blu-ray edition. There's a 4K edition. There's a 3D edition. I think Walmart has a special one with turtle figurines. I think there's a steel case one out there. But the one that I want to show you is this special limited edition and it comes in this metal lunchbox. The gift box set actually has both movies. All the other editions I think just have Out of the Shadows, but if you get the special lunchbox edition, then you get the original as well as the sequel. The box here is a little shiny, a little, little shiny, but it's very nice, and then in the back just has all the special features. All right, let's unbox it. So, open up. Woo! Now, of course, if you saw the movie, <laughs> which I know a lot of you did not, uh, this is their turtle van, basically. This is what you see in one of the opening scenes of the movie, one of the early scenes of the movie. Tara, tar, 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 Taruka Brothers, which you know, that's turtle. This is how it looked in the movie, so now you get a replica, and it's metal. This is a metal tin lunch box. I was worried when I first saw it, I thought it was gonna be plastic or, or like paper or something, so it's nice that it's actually a legit, Lunchbox, like you could you could put your lunch in this. I can go to school and have it, this be my lunchbox with my peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> and, or my, I should say my Lunchables pizza, right? I like how they kept it pretty authentic to how it looked in the movie. You get the turtles up front, so that's kind of neat. They're driving it. It's got all the different designs on it, just like it had in the movie. It even has the uh, eat shell <laughs> on the back. It's like etched into the truck and there's also a little license plate at the top that says eat shell. And oh look, they had the American flag on there, so they're patriots. And the wheels actually work on this. This thing rolls. You can actually put it on a table. Very loud, I'm sorry. Ah. You can actually put it on a table and roll it around. So it's a lunchbox, it's a car. Wow, that's pretty crazy. You can, you can drive like Vin Diesel and eat like Michelangelo. <laughs> Open it up. Ooh, and there's all the goodies. The movie, Out of the Shadows, and it comes with, uh, four masks, or I guess it comes with two masks that are reversible. Oops, I'm just dropping the movie, just dropping the movie. Whoa, that dropped faster than uh, its box office. So I get the box and that. So it's two masks, but each mask has two colors to represent all four turtles. Oh, these are like some silky masks, man. Like, mm. <laughs> 50 shades of green. <laughs> the safe word is pizza. <laughs> Sorry, 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 it's a movie for kids. It's a movie for kids. You know, the movie where Roxanne and Bebop look at their junk. Movie for kids. Okay, so you get <laughs> Raph and Mikey on one side. Let me take the glasses off here so it can be Raphael. We're turtles, we're brothers. What will Vin Diesel do? And then I can flip it. And now I'm Michelangelo. Come on, dude. We gotta work on our hip hop Christmas album. We'll find you. Was that creepy? I'm sorry. Isn't he coming in kind of fast? and furious. Then of course the leader in blue, Leonardo. Man, it is sad how if you just, if you just change the tint on me right now to make me more green, do not tell me I would not look like one of them turtles in CGI. I got a Ninja Turtle CGI face. <laughs> and of course, smooth Donatello. Gotta put on the purple man. Oh, don't say the purple man. That, that reminded me of the purple guy from a. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> uh, we got your pizza here, but uh, there seems to be some giant warthog and rhinoceros animatronics outside. <laughs> uh, so you might want to watch out, because if they see you, uh, then they will try to stuff you inside, and there's lots of wires. You just want to be careful. Five Nights at Rocksteady's. <laughs> someone needs to make that game. Please, someone make a Five Nights at Freddy's spoof called Five Nights at Rocksteady's. Please make that, and then all the animatronics and Ninja Turtles and the mutants from the Ninja Turtles series. They can be Bebop and Rocksteady, Leatherhead, Krang. That'd be awesome. I would totally play it. If someone makes that, I will play that. Five Nights at Rocksteady's. Here we go! Oh, hey, 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 hey. Look, I'm a rhythm gymnastic. Rhythm is a dancer doing the gymnastics. So yeah, you get the movie on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. And then you also, in this 
specific version, you get the original movie as well. So you can have a turtle double feature. And of course, there's special features on both of them. On the new one, we get deleted scenes. They've already released one deleted scene online. It was the one where Judith Hogue was supposed to be in the movie. She played the original April O'Neil in the 1990 movie, and there was supposed to be a scene between her and Megan Fox. They showed it online but it did make the movie, but I think it's on here, so you can see how that would have happened. They also show all the different Easter eggs that are in the movie and um, talk about how they made the van and talk about uh, the CGI and all that stuff. And most importantly, the first movie has the music video for Shell Shocked. Knock, knock, you about to get Shell Shocked. That's my crew, my hold them down forever. Got the orange Lamborghini, call it Michelangelo. I think putting these on tightens my head and makes me go crazier when I have this on. So let me take this off before I squeeze my head too tight. And there's also the inside of the van too, so that's really nice. Oh, it even says foot stinks in there, so that's awesome. That's a nice homage to the original party van, party wagon. There's a video game arcade in here. This is really nice. If you're gonna actually put food in there, you're gonna probably wanna take that out. But if you're not gonna put food in there like me, then that's a nice little interior that you can open up and be like, oh, here's the outside of the van, and then bam, there's the inside of the van. If you are a hardcore Ninja Turtles collector, you want all things Ninja Turtles, including stuff from the movies, I think this is a pretty good one to get, especially if you don't have the movies, but if you're a hardcore Ninja Turtles collector, I guess you probably would already have the movies. If you are not a hardcore Ninja Turtles collector, but you just want the movies, then like I said, there's other versions uh, where you can just get the movie, you don't have to worry about that. If you don't want to buy the thing at all, then, um. The first one's on like Hulu and Amazon Prime all the time. So I'm just gonna assume that the second one is gonna eventually make its way there too. So you do you. I'm just letting you know, if you like collecting, then here's the collector item. If you just wanna see the movie, then there's this. If you wanna wait, then there's Hulu. <laughs> So thanks for watching me indulge in more Ninja Turtles goodness. If you want to know what my thoughts are about Add the Shadows, in case you missed it, I do have a non-spoiler and a spoiler review of both movies, actually. So feel free to go back into the past Black Nerd archives and check those out. If you're new here, please subscribe. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week. Well, let me switch to Mikey for the outro. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, dude. Cowabunga chump, yomp. Which Mikey was that? I feel like I just did an evolution of every single Michelangelo that's ever been voiced. <laughs> I, I did a little bit of Townsend, did a little bit of Greg, did a little bit of the movie. Let me just add uh, uh, Robbie Riss from the original movies. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. <laughs> Cowabunga, everybody.